Hi, welcome to Blockholic. In this video, we are going to see the difference between a transactions and transaction data. Okay, we have been talking about this all the times. Like everybody can see the transactions, everybody can see the transactions. Let's show you what is actually a transaction. Okay, so let's see with an example. Now I have logged into a Etherscan website, which is where we can see all the transactions which is happens in the Ethereum blockchain network of mainnet. So I'm going to take the latest block. I'm taking oh that's good. Just there is a just block which is just mine. So I'm just clicking on this block. So here I have a block height that means the block number and this is the timestamp that means at this point of time the transaction has been mined. So all this time I'm talking about the transactions. So here we have the transactions. So in this particular block, there are around 114 transactions which has taken place. Let's see what it has. Oh, there you can see a lot of transactions, right? So this is the transactions. So let us take one transaction. There is a one more transaction hash available here. So I'm clicking on the first transactions. Click here. There. There is another transaction. This is belongs to the same block and here this is from this person and this is the public key or the address and this is the contract address. We are going to talk about the contracts in very great detail in upcoming videos. Don't worry about this for now. So here you can be able to see from whom the transaction taken place to who. That means from this person the transaction happened to this address but you cannot actually see what is went inside here you can see that some kind of a transactions but you cannot see what is actually happening inside with this function I can be able to make out what is happening but if you are a person who don't have any understanding you cannot obviously read this kind of data isn't it so here the transaction has taken place to transfer 220 some kind of a cryptocurrency or a tokens to someone okay this is the input data so what I'm trying to tell you here is this is the transactions this is the transaction history but however the data whatever is there inside of the transaction is called the transaction data with that is the one which we cannot see it here there are two different things so the transactions and transaction data so you can be able to see the transactions like who is transferring to whom but you cannot see the data which is there in that particular transaction okay so what uh, let me give you a simple example let's say I'm transferring some document to you so you can see that there is a transaction between my, from me to you but you cannot see what is actually in the transaction that is called the transaction data so what is there inside the transaction the document or whatever I have sent it to you cannot be visible at the same time the transaction there is a transaction happen between you and me that is what you can actually see okay that is the difference between transactions and transaction data if it is a public blockchain network you can be able to see transactions but not transaction data but the transaction data will be available only between the sender and the receiver the people in the network they can be able to see the transactions that there is a movement between this person to another person if you have a necessary accesses then you can also able to see the transaction data it happens same with the public and pro private blockchain network as well that's all for this video if you like my video Please comment below and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.